I was in Sweden on a business trip a few weeks back and visited Jahandr Quarry with L5 navigation systems. There are several key functions of a quarry workflow and one of them is to get rid of the overburden that covers the actual resource. More and more sites are turning to GPS guided machines. For drilling and blasting, this is especially critical because the drill blast patterns must be accurately put in place for better drilling and better fragmentation. This impacts all of the workflow downstream. The drill patterns not only need to be accurately designed at the top, but they must be designed properly and drilled at the bottom of the hole. If the right fragmentation doesn't occur, money needs to be spent further breaking the resources up for downstream processing. Proper fragmentation impacts the size of the loaders, the haul trucks, and certainly the crushers and how the materials process all the way downstream into the different products. It's important to understand and evaluate constantly how your blasting strategy and designs working. One way L5 navigation is using the GeoConcept blast design system to measure the holes as they were drilled on the top of the bench as we see here. And by locating the top of hole, you know where these are located, but most importantly, you're going to want to know how well the hole was drilled, at what angle, and at what proximity are these holes at the bottom length of the, of the drill hole. Another process is using probes that have accelerometers that you actually drop into the hole using the same data collector that you located the top of hole with GPS. Now adding this data to the collector gives you a direction and depth of each hole. And while that's very important, the other thing you have to take into account is the rock face. For example, if the bottom of two holes veered toward the rock face and you loaded them as prescribed with explosives, then you're going to create fly rock, a very dangerous situation. So the rock face has also got to be modeled in order to create the most accurate and productive blast. L5 is using a scanner to map the face of the rock along with the same data collector that was used to get the top of the hole using GPS, to get the depth and the angle direction using the probe, and again now for the mapping the rock face. And all of this data can be brought together, analyzed, and an optimized drill pattern can be designed. L5 is using Quarry X Pro software. There are others, and I'll try to keep a list posted on the article that I will put at the end of this video. But here we can see the, the top of the holes were turned on that we collected from GPS, the hole depth and angles uh, collected from the probe, and then added the rock face data modeled from the scanner. By bringing this information together, one can better analyze what's going on here. See that some of the holes are too long. You can look at the bottom of holes and see how close they are and how close they are to the rock face. So you can design more effective, more efficient blasting. So you have a fantastic return on investment in safety in downstream processes so that you're using your equipment in its most efficient manner without unnecessary wear and tear. If you measure it, then you know.